though the Swedish West Coast is also called the best coast and we are going to take you to our top five best places of the best coast, the real gems we found. And those are picked for really different reasons, really unlike each other. This first one might be an unexpected pick. So this is the first of five episodes that are going to come a bit more frequent now. And in each episode we're going to show you one gem and sometimes also a couple of more places that were really good although it did not qualify for our top five. Hang on for the same, comment if you have any questions and don't miss out to subscribe. We are now at uh, Rara and um, looking at the fisher boats. That's not the reason why we are here even though I really would like to go on a fisher boat one day. And we're also looking for ice cream. That's not either the reason we are here. So the reason we did go to Rara was neither of those two, but that there is a huge nature reserve covering most of the island. And we really were keen on seeing that because we heard so many good things about it. So we put on our hiking shoes or well, I did not because I don't think I mentioned that to you, but I broke my toe. Um, so the only thing I can walk in this far still was flip flops. I hope you like it. It's really beautiful. We love this thing, seeing somebody build and putting so much effort into making something creative out of all the things that floats ashore that would have been garbage anyway. So this apparently was Kelly's bar, but looking inside we found out we are here one day too soon because the free beers, they would be tomorrow. After our hike we were looking ahead to a windy night, but it was time to let the lights go. I don't know how much you can hear of the wind, but it's really windy outside. This was a sort of a nature experience place, so now we were looking forward to a fortress and fancy life place. When we docked and stepped ashore in Marstrand, we decided to have a walk up to the Karlstrand Fortress. This place here became Swedish in uh, 1658 and to keep it that way, the king later on decided to build a fortress to defend it better. And it was built by prisoners here, 
So there were panel workers building all of this. And one of the most famous Swedish prisoners, Lasse Maja, was also kept here. The thing that he did was that got him famous, I think, was that he did all of his crime dressed out as a woman. From the fortress we also had magnificent views. And after enjoying the views for a while, we decided it was time for a dinner out and a beer at a nice bar. On our way back to Tilda we spotted Elida that was also here. She's known as the Sailing Church. I don't think she really is a church, but she has a Christian message. And she also takes a lot of people out to sea to give people the possibility to try out how it's like to sail. We got the spot almost at the end of the dock and it was a long walk out. But that also gives the chance to have a look at all the other boats. And there was a lot of both Danish and German boats here. That really makes me long to go further myself. I hope you really liked this episode. This was two very different places we took you to. And the one that's my really favorite is Rara. I like the a little bit more genuine feeling. This place is more touristy to me. And in the next episode I will take you to one very tiny place that will get a whole episode for itself. Subscribe so you don't miss out and see you next time.